Step 1, Anime Inspiration. Ah. We'll need a game theme. Spin the wheel. Land on My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Just roll with it. Nobody cares if it fits. <laughs> Step 2, The Dummy Dummy He looks suspiciously like a powerful character from another show, just chilling in the middle of the map. Step 3, the almost copyright infringement characters want to actually, you know, play the game? Then pay up for the determined newbie, a character with slightly less cardboard-like fighting skills. Looks suspiciously like that spiky-haired dude from another show. Step 4, early access game pass. Feeling like one character not enough? Don't worry. Just a few robo unlocks the chance to be. Who knows? It's a surprise. I mean, there will definitely be more characters eventually, right? But why wait? Be the first on your block to own this mystery. Step 5, free private servers, lag free glory. You and your friends I wonder if you even have any <coughs> to come battling glorious isolation. Because nobody else plays this game anyway. Private server plus, because regular private servers are for peasants. Pay extra for a fancy crown next to your name. Who needs actual features when you can be royalty? All hail the mighty Gojo. Doesn't matter. Even too, he doesn't have any connection to the original theme, but you know he is Gojo. With him added, your game will blow up the shore. Who cares about the lore? The lore, guys! The lore! The lore! So there's your Roblox Battleground game starter pack. Questionable choices. Check. Shameless cash grabs. Double check. Enough frustration to fuel a rocket? You bet. Now go forth and conquer. Or at least buy Gajo, because apparently he's the only way to win.